Just a note on some further explorations of some products I've been trying from. OTJ. I've had very good results making kava kava with the cold tea method. In this, I take about 50 to 60 cc of chopped kava root, wrap it in a white cotton cloth, tie it with dental floss, and dunk it in 1 to 1.5 quarts of water. You must knead it to get good results. It takes a good 20 minutes or more to get the majority of the extract. The suggested 10 minutes is not enough. 30 minutes is probably overkill. The fact that sitting down and quietly kneading and dunking this thing for 20 to 30 minutes might be part of the relaxing effect isn't lost on me. So it goes. I could probably use it. I've found that I can get a good synergistic effect between this and Kalia Zakatekichi. I've been adding about a teaspoon of the Kalia to the kava in the bag. I can't stomach hot Kalia tea. It's too nauseatingly bitter. The effect is a calming sedative effect without loss of clarity of thought. Sleepiness occurs after about an hour. Sleep is deep and restful, with many vivid dreams. This effect seems to be cumulative, in that it gets stronger with subsequent use. The effect on dreaming also seems to be retained. It continues for a few days after stopping the Kalia. I also seem to get better results when I make the tea with my daily hyperoxidation dose added to the water. I put in 4 ounces of 0.5% hydrogen peroxide. The frothing effect that signifies a good kava solution is more pronounced with the H2O2 added. Also, I've not had similar success with cold Kalia solutions made without this. This hyperoxidation stuff is a whole story in itself. Not being a drug, I won't go into it here. If you're interested, do a spider or similar search on the web for oxygen therapy. Look for the site Amandis. There's well over 100 files there. I suggest starting with number 9. Sorry, I never keep track of web addresses. OTJ also sells Tahibo. A tea suggested is useful for oxygen therapy. But H2O2 is much cheaper. To drink this, I add 3 tablespoons of Ovaltine, and drink it quickly. The kava isn't unpleasant, but the Kalia is. This helps the taste in that it tastes much more like less sweetened chocolate. A 4 ounces package of Kalia will mix in well with about 3 8 ounces. Packages of Kava Root. This costs about $55 and will make at least 30 to 50 doses, maybe more. I tend to go overboard with sedatives since I seem to run at a very high speed much of the time. Although it's not really very psychoactive, I feel I've been getting good physical results by adding a spoonful of ashwagandha powder to the solution. It's an Indian medicinal similar to ginseng. The ashwagandha adds a slight cardboard taste. This can be countered with a bit more sugar. This stuff seems to give me more energy available and prevent caffeine, guarana stimulant burnout. But then so does the hydrogen oxide, so I can't promise this.